1964, Doc Edgerton at MIT used a stroboscopic technique to visualize a bullet as it traveled through an apple. In 2011, researchers at MIT set their sights on a new goal to capture light as it traveled through a sea. This technique was called femtophotography and used a half million dollars worth in scientific equipment to achieve this goal. We introduced nanophotography, which is a, essentially a multi-depth camera that has a, one application which allows it to visualize light as it travels through a scene. You can observe light hitting the vase and then the stuffed animal behind. Light then sweeps and hits the lion behind the Mario and then the back wall. Observe that the back wall shows through the vase which highlights the multi-path capabilities of our camera. Light leaves first from the specularities on the vase and then from the entire scene. So what happens is we have a light source, and this light source sends a pulse of light to the object in the scene and back to the camera. And this camera measures the time it takes for the light to go to the, from the light source to the object and back. Because light travels at a constant speed, we can measure the time of flight and therefore we can calculate the distance that light is traveling. Therefore, we can build up a three-dimensional object, uh, a three-dimensional view of the object that we are imaging. Now the problem is, if we have a transparent object in the sea, with the technology that we've developed here, we can measure the three-dimensional, uh, we can measure the depth of the martini glass, and we can measure the depth of the toy line. So the time of flight camera has uh, many interesting applications, and one of them is transient and femtosecond imaging. Uh, so what does it mean? It means that we can image things at ultra fast speed, and it means also that we can make videos of light slices as light traverses. So how do we achieve it at such a low cost? Uh, we designed a new camera which has hardware capability where light when it interacts with the scene and comes back uh, by using ideas from mathematics we are able to uh, unsmear or deconvolve light paths and having done so uh, we are able to trace the exact path of light as it travels.